The artistic vision for this year's biennial is about the role that history plays in the making of architecture. We've always been interested in history. We think today we live in a world where things are being produced as, at a tremendous speed. So I think at this very moment, uh, history plays a very important role for understanding where things are going, where things, where things come from, and give it an underlying structure. I guess what's important is the new in this make new history. It makes clear that history is part of our culture and that we acknowledge it, but it also um, defines a point of departure. I think that so, so many contemporary architects today are looking at historical precedent. They're looking at buildings, they're looking at fabrics of cities that have built up over time as a way to inspire the development of their work and also imagine how the future could be. We cast a new light on the past every time we look at it. I think in pieces like my own where I'm looking at dust that is maybe thousands of years old, we now know that this dust has changed the way that we relate to our environment, has changed the climate. The history that we're living and the future that is ahead of us was made a long time ago and how do we deal with that? Some architects will look into the image of history uh, that is very detectable. When you look at the buildings, you actually see historical elements in their building. Or the architects that, that design very modern, very progressive buildings, but they have a historical way of organizing the building. So, so it's a way of anchoring to the past, but thinking about the future at the same time. A new work of architecture is impossible to understand um, outside of its connection to other architecture that already exists. And I actually work a lot with existing works of other architects, taking different fragments, reassembling them in new ways to then make new models, uh, new buildings, new urban plans. We like to tell stories with architecture and it's important to tell those stories through a kind of lens that is looking back but also looking forward. I would argue that our generation uses history to find a certain common knowledge, a common ground, to evaluate if, if certain architecture is relevant uh, for today.